Hello and welcome! Architect611 here. Today we're going to be flying this little random route I found up here in northern Canada. We're going from Door Lake or Dore Lake to Canoe Lake Airstrip. So this should be a nice flight. It should be um, pretty beautiful with all the water, with all the lakes. See all this water around? Um, I've never, I've never done this. I have no idea where this is. I've never actually been to Canada. So this will be fun. We're going to be flying in the Cessna 152. Very basic flight conditions, real time, live weather. So I hope the weather is decent in northern Canada right now. It is summertime, so it shouldn't be too bad. Fingers crossed. Oh, look at this, the Grand Canyon. Definitely want to fly that uh, sometime. That could be a video. Okay, so here we are. Starting out at night. That's not what the globe showed. What's up with that? Twelve oh six AM No. Oh now real time is turning on. I could have sworn it was on. Look back in the video thirty seconds. Maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe it's not working. I was having a problem with it. See how it's faded out? But it's... That looks like the correct time. I'm not sure exactly what time zone it is, but that's about right. Okay, look, it's a grass strip we're taking off on. I will get out of the airplane here and zoom out as much as we can just to look around a little. Oh, wow goes back that way but I guess that's not part of the runway it's just a non-runway grass field but this looks uh, great to take off on let's get in the cockpit uh, parking brake off and let's put that throttle forward Looks like we might have some wind coming from the left, so that would be what, the south? Alright, and we're up in the air, flaps up. I have no idea what the wind situation is like, so I'm kind of just getting a feel for it. Got that lake off to our right. Was it Dore Lake? That's at least what we took off from. Yeah, wow, imagine living out here. Look at those little houses right off the tail of the airplane. Okay, but next question is, where am I going? Uh, up this lake a bit. We may not end up landing where I planned, but we'll see if we can find it. Yeah, look below us. It's not how I do it. There we go. Look at that. People just living right on the edge of this beautiful lake. Oh, I wonder what that red in the dirt is. All right. 
right, and I'll level on out around 3,000. Seems good. Oh yeah, didn't I say something about leveling out at 3,000? Trying to use the trim. It's really difficult though. I've got this small knob and I make the tiniest movement and you can see the plane just shirk down. Um, it's got to be easier on a real plane. view. You've got that like little lake, maybe a pond in the middle of a peninsula on a huge lake. So I've looked up uh, Dore Lake on my phone, so I am navigating via Google Maps and then visually in the plane. Um, we have a highway off to the left of us. Uh, we're heading north along the western side of the lake, and I'm going to gain some altitude here. Let's, oh, we do a full throttle. Uh, full throttle, gain some altitude. I want to see if we can spot that highway. That's kind of like a middle line between Dore Lake and uh, it's like Canoe Lake or something like that. Let's see, yeah, Canoe Lake. So at some point when we reach the northern point of Dore Lake, we will head west, try and spot that highway, and then cross it. We'll follow it a bit. There's this key point. Hopefully I've edited this video and put these images up on the screen for you to see as well so you can follow along to what I'm saying as I raise... Oh yeah, no, I'm climbing. That's right. We're going up to get a better view. Uh, there's this point here on the highway that we could use as a good landmark that will then tell us to go west to hit Canoe Lake. So that is the plan. Sorry about how it uh, jerks back to the center when I roll around on that button. 
I wish it would just go from right to back to left to front. But there might be some kind of diagonal that makes it disappear. A diagonal on the button I'm using. Look at that below us. It just looks so beautiful down at the bottom of the screen. I wonder how difficult it is to get out to this coastline here. Like I'm not seeing roads, but they could definitely blend into the trees. Can you imagine just being the only person for miles, potentially hundreds of miles? I kind of doubt that though. Just on this beautiful lake. Is that a golf course down there? I think it is. Okay, never mind. We are not that far from civilization. Look at these islands up ahead. Let's go over those. this lake, I mean, what this island is, if it's just a empty island in the middle of this lake, looks like it to me. I'm not seeing much evidence of any human life on this island. It doesn't mean it isn't there, but it's not obvious. I bet I could land on it. I wish I knew more about what we were flying over and could actually answer these questions. It is fun for me just to explore though never seen this no idea what it you know what really is out here look at all these islands they kind of remind me of like islands you would see in the Caribbean but instead of sand and jungles, you've got these dense northern forests. Can you imagine boating out here, setting up on your own private island for the day? Or even camping out here? Uh, again, I have no idea if that's allowed, where we really even are. I know we're in Canada. I couldn't tell you what province, though. Maybe I'll have that stuff in the description. Yeah, I'll add some more details in the description. So if you're wondering exactly where we are, maybe a little bit more info, check that out.
All right, so looking back at the map, I can see we are coming to the northern portion of the lake. I see the islands we just flew over. So we are definitely, yeah, I'm looking at our direction, 042. We are definitely angled off that way. But if we turn here and what would that be? Maybe three zero zero. Let's start with three three zero and we'll go from there. Yeah, so now we should be online about to uh, Canoe Lake. I will raise the altitude back up. I just wanted to get a better look at those islands. And look at this off to our left. Maybe I won't raise the altitude. 3,000 is a nice elevation to see this stuff. Is that snow, you think, in the satellite image? It's gotta be. Yeah, are these patches of snow? It is summertime, so you'd think this close to a lake, these would be melted, but I, I, I'm not an expert on that, so if you actually live at these, uh, is it latitudes? Uh, please let me know. Do you have snow patches like these year round? I gotta keep an eye on our direction. It already veered off to 350. Like, I am enjoying myself too. I'm looking around the plane. If I was a pilot in real life, I would be focused on the plane and let the passengers enjoy the sights. But this is a video game. No one's gonna die. I'm gonna enjoy it. Yeah, I'm guessing this is all snow that are in the satellite images. Maybe the game allows images taken from, you know, March through October. I don't know. Seasons depend for everyone. I mean, I guess they don't. They are officially defined. But maybe they take the season, the ha they take half of spring, all of summer, half of fall, and then they find the best images out of those, and these ha images happen to be in, you know, April, May, when there is still some snow left on the ground, and the algorithm thinks it's a summer image, so that can't be snow. That's my guess. Are they frozen lakes? That's my next uh, hypothesis. Let's go down and take a closer look. What does that look like to you? Kinda looks like a frozen lake to me, looking at the edges of it right there. Looks like a frozen lake. So some of the lakes have water then, and some are frozen over. And that's definitely possible in real life too.
Now those look like patches of snow to me on grass. They have to be. So maybe there are patches and then some of those are actually frozen over lakes. All right, we are going 330 still. Did we pass a highway? That was gonna be a landmark. We're going 330 from here. This could be Canoe Lake. I'm gonna look for landmarks. Yeah, is that a peninsula sticking out ahead? Hmm, but now I'm not seeing it. There is nothing out that way that we can see. And it goes for a while that way. All right, we're f flying maybe a little too north. Yeah, are we actually... Is this Lac La Plange? Yes, yes, there's the peninsula we're seeing. It's Lac La Plange. So now we are going to head west soon. Once we get up to that peninsula, we can head west. What is that off to the left? Is that a lake? It looks so much darker than the water we're flying over. Well, we need to make a left turn here, so let's do that right over this lake, question mark. What is it? It looks like mud to me. Well, now it just looks unrealistic. What in the world is it? Alright, I'm heading fully west. We're gonna look for that highway landmark where it makes a full left turn. Actually, that looks like it might be in a city or something. No, I zoomed in, I don't see anything. Uh, it just seems like an intersection where people usually move to. We'll continue west from here. If we go a little to the right, that's okay. That'll put us online for Canoe Lake. Oh, look at that dense forest.
totally looks like I'm flying out of runway from this perspective. Can't tell yet if it is or it isn't. Are we finally getting to that intersection of highways? Is that it? That could totally be it. Is there a river? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it. That's our uh, highway landmark. And then the lake would be west to the bottom of the lake but we do need to go not that far uh, north but just a little bit more north and look at that it is a runway there is an airport out here and that's a decent sized runway right it is a runway right It has to be. There's no other connections to it. So is this a canoe lake off to our right here? We're flying over this water, these series of lakes that are east of the highway now. And Canoe Lake is still a ways beyond. As we hit 5,000 feet, let's take a look outside of the airplane. I believe that is Canoe Lake that we are approaching. Otherwise, I did something very wrong. But nope, it is matching up with Google Maps. Looks like we are coming in to the south side of the lake. My plan is to just follow the edge of the lake around and try to find that airstrip that was somewhere near that point on the west coast of the lake. I'm not sure if you'd call that a peninsula or not. Somewhere in between a peninsula and a regular coastline. Oh, look at this uh, river below us. It's a really twisty, turny one. Two rivers.
We're going to start our right hand turn to the north along the west side of the lake. If I remember correctly, it was in that northern half, but I'm not exactly sure where. I think I see a strip right off to the right. Let's descend. I was gonna say we'll do a flyover, make sure everything looks good and that it is actually a runway, but that is already looking so much like a runway to me. And that is right out there near the peninsula, near where I remember it being. That's gonna be good enough for me. Let's pull back power. Descend. And get over to the left to line up with this thing. I have no idea what the elevation of this runway is, so we'll find out together. I'm trying to see if there's any wind here. It's felt like a very peaceful, calm flight this whole time, so I'm thinking it's a pretty calm day in northern Canada, even in real life. But that makes sense, summertime. I'm going to do 10% flaps, coming in a little high here, oh and way too fast, 20% flaps. The throttle is down very low, I should have brought that back first before flaps, but this should work. a little bit of braking we don't have much room here brakes full brakes oh look at that there's a little uh, airplane here already let's go park next to them oh good they've got a, a push uh, guy here I'm definitely gonna need a pushback I mean there just wouldn't be enough room to turn around here Is he coming up to say hi? Hi there. What what you got going on here? You guys just uh stand around all day? Walk through plane wings. That's funny. They've got a ground crew out here for a crash strip but look at that we made it visually with uh, Google Maps all the way that was fun uh, exploring northern Canada so much water islands this would definitely be a cool place to come explore in real life thanks for joining me see you next time